Hi everyone. Topic for today's discussion is web searching. You know that information retrieval system has to deal with various types of data, which can be either in the form of text or multimedia data, as well as the data which is present on web pages. So in short, the data which information retrieval system deals with is very large, unstructured, but ubiquitous database. So it has to have some efficient tool which will be able to manage, retrieve, and filter information from the database, which is somehow going to map the content in semi-structured way. Basically, when we take into consideration web search engine, at the time, the purpose may be different. For example, the search engine can be designed from the general perspective, which may contain all the type of domains included, the way uh, it is included in Google search engine. Else, it can be specific, specific considering country-wise, or uh, you may consider as language wise or specific type of web pages uh, could be given as an output in the search engine likewise so it can be designed for specific agenda so depending on that basically there are three different forms of searching on the web first strategy is either you can use search engine that index a portion of web document as a full text document uh, means it has to fetch the data pre-process it and even though it will not be stored fully on the local copy but in some way some indexed information of that web page is stored locally for the purpose of searching Another way is to use web directories, which classify selected web document by subject. And directly that web directory can be used for searching purpose. And third is to search web exploiting, uh, to searching the web exploiting its hyperlink structure. So this is third way. It is not uh, fully explored yet, but that can be used, that approach can be used. So today we will be discussing this first strategy, which makes use of search engine for web searching. So architecture of information retrieval system that model the web content as text document, it could be categorized in two ways. It can be either, it may use the centralized architecture, uh, which which makes use of crawler indexer architecture. Obviously, crawlers are required in both the types of architecture, crawler as well as indexer. But uh, the functioning of crawler and indexer is centralized. If that working of that is in centralized manner, then it is considered as centralized craw crawler indexer architecture. If it is making use of distributed strategy, for gathering and indexing of the data, then it is termed as distributed architecture. So here we will be using harvest architecture uh, while uh, discussing distributed architecture. One thing which you need to understand is web searching is different than that of standard information system, information retrieval system because it ha the queries which are required to be answered in web searching has to just make use of indices to answer the query. It is not going to have full content of the text document on the local copy. Basically why it, it cannot do so? So the reason behind it is if it will save all the pages or copy of the web pages locally. It is going to increase the cost of saving and computing very much. So it is going to 
add in terms of space as well as compute, cost gets increased. And the second reason is another approach which it can use is um, whenever query is given by the user, at that time, at runtime, it can make use of crawlers and index, index, indexer to fetch the information at runtime. But obviously, it is going to increase the delay. It, it will increase the response time if it will ask it to do all the things at runtime, right? So that is why we have to have some system which will help web searching to do the things in optimal way. Considering any of the architecture, basically web searching process has to use three components or three algorithms you may call. One is of crawling, second is of indexing and third is of ranking. So you may call these three tools like crawler, indexer and ranker is required to be used by web search engines. So what web crawler does is nothing but whatever web pages are there. So if that are well structured, what is the title of the page, what it speaks about and all that contains the stuff like titles and description of the page, type of contains on it, its keyword, then number of incoming and outgoing links of that web page, all that metadata is fetched and stored by indexer. So web pages, a web crawler basically fetches the, you may call it as HTML code of web page, a URL which is given to it. So considering that a source URL, whichever links of other web pages are there uh, of that source URL, all the HTML code of that page gets fetched by web crawler and all the metadata, all the information uh, representing just of that website will get fetched by web crawler. And what is the role of indexer then? Whatever data is fetched by crawler to extract useful information. Considering uh, information retrieval system, that will be mapped only for the, I mean, that source code, HTML page source code will be just used for the perspective of generating indices of that web page is used. So web scrapping is different than that of web crawling or web, web crawling, right? So the difference is what? In web scrapping, uh, whatever data you will be fetching from the web page, I mean, whatever is source code you would be fetching, all that from that source code, uh, the data which would be giving insights from the perspective of growing business would be fetched rather uh, afterwards. And then that data is used for getting insights. Indexing is not applied in scrapping, but in web crawling, it is used for the purpose of generating indices, which would be used later for retrieval purpose or matching purpose. And then ranker letter is used that once the relevant uh, data or relevant document links are generated or, or are searched by the query engine of web search engine, then it has to be given in certain order so that whichever documents in whichever order you would be displaying uh, initial documents are going to be the most relevant out of the document set generated. So uh, we'll move on to the next architectural part of this. So first type of architecture which information uh, web search engines would be using is centralized architecture, wherein the crawler and indexer is going to work in centralized manner. Means whichever crawler module would be there, it may use multiple crawler, uh, sub crawlers for fetching all the data, 
and it would be generating uh, whatever it would be fetching that will be passed to the indexer and indexer will be doing or generating all the indices and keeping it centrally at one place which would be accessed by query engine while answering the queries submitted by user so basically it has two main components user interface and query engine and query engine uh, answers the query using these two main components that is crawler module and indexer module which basically performs all the tasks which are assigned to them of crawling and indexing are carried out centrally next is uh, so that is what is written over here and the typical example of centralized crawler index architecture is alta vista architecture and obviously index is used to answer the query in distributed architecture uh, the thing which is different than that of previous is nothing but it has two main components called as or named as broker and gatherer so what broker and gatherer does is nothing but it collects and extracts indexing information from the web server that is what is the functionality of gatherer and broker provides indexing mechanism and query interface apart from that how it works typically that uh, we'll be discussing in detail but before that i will be telling you that how it is more beneficial or how it performs better than that of centralized architecture so here in distributed architecture basically a distributed strategy is used for gathering and distributing the data so task of crawling and indexing is done in distributed manner so obviously because of it it is able to address the issues of increased load on web servers which was the case in centralized architecture as well as it is able to address the another issue uh, of increased web traffic as crawlers retrieve entire object so this allows sharing of work and information in every in very flexible and generic manner as shown in the diagram there can be multiple gatherers and multiple brokers gatherers would be doing the task of gathering and extracting information out of the web pages and brokers would be deciding the indexing mechanism uh, so it, it can have a replication manager as well as it has to work in distributed architecture so how the distributed distribution strategy of web crawlers are for example as here now gatherers are going to extract the information uh, or you may call it as that are, that are going to uh, perform the task of crawlers so we should not be giving same sort of urls to multiple crawlers otherwise it is going to west the compute over there so it has to have some policy for distributing the work of crawling as well as uh, for indexing as well right so uh, what it does it it has some distinguished brokers which stores information of other brokers and gatherers that how data distribution is done and accordingly it carries out the task you may call as parallelly or in distributed way so that even if certain things or certain components get filled it will be able to achieve the goal and it has object cache cache as well uh, to give the answer in minimal time so that is what is given on the slide that what is the functionality of gatherer and broker which i have already told the another functionality of broker is to retrieve information from gatherer or broker to update indices incrementally so as all the 
peers are going to work independently uh, will have to have some all the data centrally uh, to relay it while answering the query. So that is also the task of broker. Typically considering the role of harvest, its goal is to build topic specific broker. And I've told you in advance that it includes distinguished broker, which allows other broker to register information about multiple brokers and gatherers. So I hope you must have understood the concept of web search engines, how it works, how, what are the key components of it, in which architecturally, in which way the system can be framed in all. Thank you.